G'day. So about now, you've probably received in the post, uh, the postal survey to say whether or not you should allow same-sex couples to marry. Pretty amazing that this has become such a massive issue. It's, um, it's, it's, you know, I got to thank everyone involved for making this a massive issue because, uh, you know, when you are alone and live in the bush, um, a lot of times all you hear is the bad stuff. And, um, so this is extraordinary to hear that it's a national issue to let, um, people like me that, that want to fall in love and that want to spend the rest of their life with one person, um, that's just incredible like it's yeah so thank you thank you um but i have seen some of the weird stuff that's been in the media you know that woman that's on the tv is going oh my god they're making my kids role play um newsflash you stupid cow that's what every gay person's had to do for nearly all their lives especially people in the country like me and i know you shouldn't be talking about you know individuals it's meant to be all in third party but i know <laughs> growing up in the bush there's one way or it's the highway and the highway that I'm talking about is what you drive your ute into the tree off the highway. It's, that sucks to be gay in the bush. Like, you want to kill yourself and you do and you try <laughs> many times because um, it's not a choice. It's how you are. And so we have to role play every single day and pretend and the worst thing is you hurt people because you're forced into a lie and then it, they end up, everyone gets hurt. It's been the worst thing ever, the whole closeting thing. It's terrible. So you know what? I don't think it's true, but if your kid has to try for like five minutes to role play what it's like to be like this, um, it's not that bad, Sheila. Like seriously, I did it for 26 years where I had to lie to myself, I had to lie to my family, I had to lie to my community about who I was, um, and I had to lie to girlfriends. It was terrible. How could anyone wish that upon anyone at all? Uh, safe schools, crap. This is about gay marriage. This is about two people who love each other getting married, not about safe schools, but you know what? I was spat on. I was abused, I was bashed, I was whacked, I was mistreated every single day of my school life. Yeah, I went to boarding school, all boys boarding school. Um, anything that would have been able to stop that, because the teachers certainly didn't, <laughs> the other culture of the school certainly didn't, anything that would have stopped that would have been a good thing. Um, mind you, safe schools, I don't think it was ever even implemented in Queensland, but anyway, that's all neither here nor there because they're red herrings, and every part of this whole no debate is a red herring. <sighs> when you get the, uh, the form, and it's in front of you, if you've already got it and it's sitting there and you haven't opened it and you think, oh, here we go, and chuck that in the bin, go and look in the mirror and just say, what if what if I wasn't allowed to ever get married? What if, by law, I was a second-class citizen in Australia? What if, by law, I was born into a country where capital punishment for being gay? Because, yeah, you know what? This country used to be killed for being gay. That was capital punishment. Uh, for first few whitefellas that were here on the west coast of Australia, they were actually sentenced to death. Um, and they did, uh, probably. Um, die. They got marooned, marooned, um, when I was a kid, people were losing their jobs, people were being put in jail, it, it's not that long ago, just put yourself in that mindset of what if there was nothing I could change about myself and the law said that I was a second class citizen and wouldn't let me marry, should I be allowed to get married, should I be allowed to get married, the answer is going to be yes, so go back to your form, fill it out and tick the yes button, Put it in the reply paid thing, put it in your post box, and let's be done with this issue. It's gone on and on and on and on, and it's never gonna go away because when people are kept down, they will keep saying, hey, this is not fair. And you know it's not fair, and this country is all about being fair. And we have bullshit laws every now and again that we have to get rid of, and this is a bullshit law that was put in only a few years ago to ban people like me from ever getting married so let's get rid of this bullshit law and the good thing is is that every citizen in this country that's allowed to vote gets to say you know what 
I think the bloke down the road or the bloke out on the farms, uh, the bloke at the bakery, the bloke, bloke, that, bloke that's fixing my car, the Sheila that's, uh, that's playing rugby on TV or, um, or the hairdresser, they should be treated just like me and they should have the equal rights under the law. And that's all this is, just equal rights under the law. None of this other bullshit that the no cases haven't. Because at the end of the day, look, I just want to get back to doing what I do good and let everyone get back to what they're doing good and let's just get on with it. It's 2017, vote yes. And if you know anyone that's really nice, I'm single as shit. Send them my way.